Hey folks, this is Vincent Vinny Jr. with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play The Builders Middle Ages. Now, it's been a while since we've last played this game, so we're a little shaky on the rules. Luckily, this game isn't all that hard to play. The rules are very short. This is one of those filler games that you can fit in in about 20 or 30 minutes if you know what you're doing. Even if you don't know what you're doing, the game plays pretty quickly based on what I remember. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get everything set up and uh, we'll show you some gameplay. Okay, so we have everything set up here. We've got the buildings and the workers here. This belongs to the game's pool. We'll be collecting from this as we play the game. Each player starts with one of these apprentice worker cards. Ten coins. We've got the money pool over here. You've got the first player card there. And on your turn, you get a total of three actions. You can start construction, meaning you can take one of these cards to put in front of you. You can recruit a worker meaning that you can take one of these to put in front of you, or you can send a worker to work. And to do that, you take one of the workers that you have in your possession, and you can assign it to a building that's currently in your possession. And the object here, each of these um, buildings have different material requirements, like you've got wood here, I believe, and metal here. I, I don't know what the symbols are off the top of my head. But you have to um, make sure that you've satisfied uh, the building requirements using your workers. Like this laborer has one wood and two of this, um, might be knowledge resource. I'm going to have to look at the manual to see what these are. But uh, that can be applied to, say, this building in order to construct it. Once you've completely constructed a building, you'll flip it over and you'll get its uh, money and victory points. Now some of these buildings here can be used as machines. Uh, yeah, you get two wood. Yeah, some of these can be used as machines. The circular saw, for example, on the flip side, grants you two wood, uh, I believe, so that you could use this uh, machine to construct one of your future buildings. So some of these buildings will grant you victory points and money. Others will grant you victory points and money, but can also be used as a machine to help you construct more stuff. So uh, with that overview out of the way, um, I'll let you go first. Again, there's three actions. Now, um, you can also take coins on your turn. If you give up three actions, you can take six coins. If you give up two actions, it's three coins. If you uh, only take up one action, it's one coin. I'll take this. You're going to take that. Okay, so that's one action. You took I the circular go. saw. All right, so you're going to sign. <laughs> wow, okay, you're going to sign your apprentice. Yeah, one gold and one knowledge. knowledge. I'm going to have to look at these symbols to see what they mean <laughs> real quick. Uh, is it actually in the manual? I don't know. Probably just knowledge. Yeah, I'm just three. Oh, okay, it's uh, the top one is stone. This yellow one is stone. The third or the second one down is wood. The fourth one down is knowledge, as I thought it was, and the bottom one is tile. So you uh, did stone and knowledge with your laborer. You got one and one, and the circular saw only needed one and one. So you can flip that over. Um, do you get any immediate uh, money? No, you do not. You don't get any money for Why constructing this, point? but you do get one victory point, and you now have this circular saw to use in the future. So you've used up two actions so far. You've um, purchased, or not purchased a building, but you've assigned a building to yourself. You've assigned an apprentice to that building, but now the apprentice is free because you've constructed it. Once workers are assigned to a building, uh, they can't be taken away until the building is done. So you've got one more action that you can take now. And we're going to replace this like that. Mm -hmm. I'll right. take this. That's the towel oven, okay? Is that a machine as well, or is that just victory points? It's a machine. It's a machine. You like your machines, don't you? No, it's actually... Yeah, it does. It gives me yeah, it gives you two tile whenever you assign it to something. All right, so that's your three actions. So now I get to go. Um, I need to figure out what I want to do here. Um, <laughs> let's see... You've got a cow shed here. Uh, that's just for money and victory points. The tree house oh is money God. and victory points. That's 12 money. But you need this, three tile in order to do that. You need 16 here. Mm -hmm. You need two, 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 two. <laughs> yeah, the house and the townhouse. All of these, uh, none of these are machines. So which one would be easy for me to construct, I guess, is what I need to figure Maybe out. Maybe this might be I've got one. wood and tile here. These are all coin money. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and take the house. It looks easy enough. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the house. That's one action. How much do you need? Oh, you need two of these, two of that, one mm -hmm. of that. Now, I need help building this. This apprentice is not going to be enough. 
I need someone with two stone, someone with uh, two tile. He has three. Or I can, someone with tile that I can contribute to it. Like this master here has three tile. Get two knowledge. And none of these other guys have that. However, he would. The, next, uh, the next one in this deck is an apprentice. And I could take that, combine that with this apprentice to get two tile. I just need someone with stone. So I'm going to go ahead and take a uh, craftsman here. Uh, now he will go. Now on. he is available. Uh, so now I will recruit this apprentice. Now you need money. Uh, the money is for when you assign workers to a building. Uh, that's one thing that you forgot to do. You had to pay two coin to assign that apprentice to a building. Oh. Again, it's been a while since we've played, folks. Yeah. All right. But uh, yeah, after that, um, I took my three actions. I took a building. Took two workers over here, so now it is your turn. All right, so you've got three actions. What are you going to do? I'm actually going to build using these two. All right. Well, actually, first you need to get a. Uh, you need to. I can actually sign this now to the building. Oh, uh, okay. Another using the wood in order to build this, and I have the knowledge needed. Okay, so you're going to sign your circular saw and your apprentice. You have to pay points. two for that. Assigning a machine to a building is free. So you built that, right? Yeah, I get one right. burglary point, plus I get two more tile. <laughs> right. So you, got, <laughs> two machines. you now have an apprentice and two machines that you can use uh, to construct stuff. Um, now That's you've got two one. action points left for this turn. You can take money. You can take workers. Really? I can, I can build this again. Okay, so it's a tree house. Oh, so I need to go and build it. Now, hold on. Um, oh, one thing I forgot. Did you assign, uh, oh, you assigned in the, you just assigned this. Oh, yeah. What, what did you do here? You, you built this, right? Yeah. Okay. So you assigned an apprentice, right? Yeah. And then, but if you assign a second worker, let me, let me pull up the manual here. If you ascend a second worker to work on the same building in the same turn, it costs you two more actions for a total of three. Now, I don't know how it is with machines, machines but... Um, machine wouldn't count as an extra worker. Uh, yeah. When you finish a building, it is, treated like, it is treated like a worker that does not require any payment for its work. So it does require action, though. So you actually used up all three action points to build this it thing. Works. One for this guy, and then two for the machine. Even though you don't have to pay anything for the machine, you still have to spend action points to assign each one. So, uh, at the end of your turn here, you've got these two and this worker here. I could have built that too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but the number of, I got this guy and that guy. Which well, I've got this house now, so what I may end up doing is just trying to, to build it real quick. I've got um, this. When you need another I've got an apprentice, and I've got, well, see, if I assign workers to the same, I, I would use all three. So I'm just going to sign one, I think. Right. I'm going to sign my craftsman here. This works, because you just... And I, I have to spend four money to do that. So I'm going to give up four money. I and I've got two actions left. Now I can assign someone else to this and use up my other two actions, or I can do other stuff. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Um, uh, I'm going to take this master, I think. That's one action. And then finally, I'm going to take something else to build. I'm going to go ahead and take, um, what do I want to build? Let's see, what do I have a lot of that I can do? Um, I think I'll take, um, well, I could do three, there's three, there's two, and, hmm. Um, you know what, I think I'm going to take, one. I'm going to go ahead and take, um, the townhouse. There we go. And then that replaces that. Okay, so my turn is over. And now what you get to that? go. That is a crane. It gives me one of these. That is a machine. Place. So if you do construct it. I get two stone. Four. Yeah, this, this will give you two stone to use. <laughs> I'm not one of these on one of these, which I have. But these are on the building, so I'll wait. I'm actually going to take these. Alright, so that's one action. Oh, Let's keep your machines and your building separate. That's okay. So you're taking one building, one worker. So that's two actions, and then. I guess I'll sign this guy. To what? Okay, so you're assigning this to this. Okay, now you have to pay four coin to do that. So you have to give up one gold and then take one silver. It gives me. 
So you've completed the knowledge and, and, oh, and half of the stone, but you still need wood and you still yeah, need tiles. Yeah, I have the for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so now my turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assign um, this master. Uh, he has three in tile, so I'm going to put that here. Now I've got three stone, one wood, two knowledge, and three tile, and all I need for this house is two stone, one wood, and two tile. So I've completed this house. So I have to pay Over five. Completed. A little overkill, but I did complete it, so I'm going to put this into my uh, score pile. I get ten coin for completing this. There's a money reward in the upper left-hand corner there. And and these workers go back to my that, pole, and I have two victory points for the end of the game. I'm going to put that over here, actually. And now I have two more actions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assign... Uh, I'm going to assign this craftsman here, so I have to pay four coin. Take one back. And I'm going to do something else, because I can't assign anything else, because I have one action left. And assigning something to the same structure takes an additional action. So I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, I wish there was one that had all of them. Maybe I'll take... Um, well, I don't have enough of that. I'll take... Um, I'll take the uh, crane. Which is a machine. This is good. Mm-hmm. What is that's it? the tile oven. Again, that's the same thing I I think have. you have that already. Yeah, but it gives me three. Yeah, it so gives you more. Three. Yeah, it gives you three of that. Uh, it gives it you a total of three uh, tile. Should That's a machine. Should you assign it to a, a building? Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of machines in this game so far. Okay, I switched the camera just to give you something new to look at here. Um, so it's your turn. You've got three action points. Assign one. So you're going to sign this guy, you need to spend two coin to do that. Which I'm out. You're out of coins. So you've got two actions left. One, you mean? Because I assigned the second worker. No, 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 that's on the same turn. Mm -hmm. So if you, assign, if you assign one worker to a building, that's just one action. But if you assign another worker to the same building on the same turn, you have to spend an additional action point. Now, it's also worth okay. noting that you can spend coin to take an additional action that turn. <laughs> it's up to you, though. You have to pay five coin to take an additional action. Very really funny, though, because you can just stock up with all the coins and take all these actions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've got two actions left, right? Yeah. I'm not going to take more about stack on workers, I guess. Or I could start a new one. It's easy. Because I have, like, all the coins for it. Nah, I'll just take a worker. I'll take a worker? You this took a craftsman, craft. okay. Maybe a master would work. Alright, so you're going to take a master? master. Alright, so that's three actions then. You ah. assigned one worker and took two people, two workers. Alright, so I need to figure out what I'm going to do here. Um, I've got, uh, this craftsman is taking care of the stone. I need two knowledge and one tile. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to assign this master to satisfy two knowledge and three tile, I only need the one, so this is a little overkill, but that's okay. I've completed this, so these workers go back into my pool. I get ten coins for completing this, so this is going to go into my victory points here. Nice. And um, so that was, that was one action that I took, right? So I get two more actions. I've got this crane. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assign an apprentice to that. All I need is one wood and one tile. And this apprentice has one wood and one tile. I'll have to pay two coin for that. Really? You just so basically, it. yeah, this, this is done. Uh, I get a victory point, but I can also use this machine for future. So I'm going to put this back into my pool here. This is my How pool many of workers. Do you have? I, can get I have four, one. but you, you, have, you have four for this machine. You have five, six. So you have six you victory mean, points. You mean for the house? Oh, did you build that yet? No. Okay, so you have two right now. But you once you build that, yeah, you'll have six. I wish I could build next turn. No, I have one more uh, action point that I can take for this turn. And um, did I get any money for the uh, crane? I don't think so. No. But now I have two stone that I could use with this machine. Uh, so I think I'll go ahead and purchase... You can build the stove. The tile oven? <laughs> yeah. 
I could. Okay. That gives yeah, me. Yeah, you do actually. You have one guy you can do it. I have a mass. See, I have a master though already. That no, and a craftsman. No, a craftsman. You need stone, right? Yeah. And it gives you just one stone and one wood. I could, but and I don't get. And you have a three and a one. The downside is I don't get any money for it. Like that. That's something that I but want. You get victory points, and yeah. you get three of these. Mm -hmm. House, so in case you want to build a we'll very see. expensive house. I'm going to go ahead and actually do, um, let's see, this gives me stone. I have that here. This is a money thing. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take the, um, I have something that will give me Good two. thing I took some of these. Hmm. It gives me more, because look at this. I'm going to take a, uh, I'm going to take this laborer for my third action. Okay. Oh, this. All right, so it's your turn. You get three actions. I'll do this for one. So you're going to assign this, no, this machine to this. So you've got two stone. This guy has a stone. This guy has a stone that require that satisfies two I stone. Satisfy three. You have two knowledge or two wood. That's this. This machine satisfies that. You've got three knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now you just need two tile. Which I have right here. Right, but assigning that to that would require uh, all your right actions. Well, I'll do that. So, so, I can so you're going to take two actions to assign that last machine. That completes this. Now you get um, 16 coins. 16 coin. <laughs> so here's one, two, that, and that. And let's flip this over. That works. Uh, this is a victory point, so let's put this here. It has four. Four victory points. Now you get all of these guys back. Which I have no more actions. Cause yeah, yeah can... and you're out of actions. Now I can use all my coins to take all these actions. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now what am I going to do here? Well, um, I've got a crane. Um, I think I'll go ahead and take the cottage. And uh, I think I'll assign my laborer to that. It requires two wood, one knowledge, and two tile. My laborer has two wood and one knowledge, but no tile. So I need to assign someone for tile at some point. I have to pay three coin for that. So I do that. And now I have um, two, one action left. I, I took a building, I signed somebody, and I got one action left to use. Um, I think I may... Um, I think I'll take another building. I just don't know which one I want yet. Nodge. The uh, cow shed looks interesting. I think I'll take the cow shed. Okay. All right, that actually might be the thing I can build. The windmill that was just drawn. Yeah. All right, so now it's your turn. You have three action points. I'll take one. All right, so you're going to take one. So that's one action. This one needs three knowledge. Three stone. So I'll take this guy and do it. I'll okay, so you have to pay four to do that. Which I have tons. There you go. And then that's yeah, that's two actions. Now you have one more. Now you can't assign anyone else to that because you don't have enough action points. Though you can buy an extra action point with five coin, then assign someone else to that with your so I could complete it using But that's up to you. If you wanna if you wanna buy the extra action to do it. Or you can wait till next turn. I'll buy someone that could do it. All right, so you're gonna hire somebody. Uh, maybe hold on, let me. See. Or you're gonna recruit a worker. I'm trying to get one of these and two of these, which there's no one there that has it, so I guess. I'll... Yeah, I'll just buy someone for. All right, so you're just gonna work. recruit a worker, okay? Just to see what I can do. All right, just for future. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to assign someone to this cottage. I'm going to assign um, this master. No, yeah. This master has three tile. I only need two. So I have to pay five for that. But I complete this. I get ten coin for doing that and two victory points. So I'm going to flip this over, over to my victory points here. Um, and I get these guys back. Now I have two more points to use, uh, two action points to use. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assign this master it's to the cow nice. shed. It's almost done. Uh, there's two knowledge and three tile. The cow shed needs two knowledge and three tile. I also need one wood. But I can't assign anyone until, the next turn. until my next turn, unless I pay five to take an extra action, which I'm not going to do. So um, 
I will uh, probably just take another building. Um, I think I'll take... Does anyone have... No. Wow, oh, that church is expensive. Holy cow. What? Oh my god. Four stone, four tile. I have... You need a of, lot for that. I have kind of like that, pretty much. You mm -hmm. just need to get the oven. The covered market might be something yeah i'm gonna take the covered market that's a big card but if i can pull it off i'll get four victory points for it and a lot of money i did so it's your turn you're gonna go ahead and spend one action point to um and five gold to okay so you assign and that i'll just take my other two action for free in order to complete the card okay so you're gonna complete the card uh what is I that i get 14 coins you get 14 coin for this and three victory points. One, two, three, four. Okay. So you get these guys back. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I flipped it over. So now you've got this. You got seven victory points over here. So these are all your workers now. Let's keep them organized. Yeah, and then I put the bonus. Okay. Here. So you used all your actions then? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assign uh, one apprentice to this cow shed. It, all I need is was one wood, and that's what the apprentice oh can do. So I'm going to spend two. What the, uh, the cathedral? Yeah, I know. I see it. So I spent two coin for this. Uh, this gives me a completed okay. building, the cow shed. I get twelve coin for this. It's almost good as much. Coin. And three victory points. I'm going to take these guys back. Now um, I've got two more action points left. I'm going to go ahead and assign um, the crane. Doesn't help me out at all over here because it, there's no stone required, but I do need some tile. I'm gonna go ahead and assign the master. This guy's like very popular. I'm using him like constantly. Uh, for five coin. You know, you need to see it. And I have one more action that I can take. Um, this satisfies the knowledge and the, uh, the, you just need wood. the tile, I just need wood. So need I'm actually gonna take this master here. Or use just two cards for one. I'm gonna take that master. He has three woods, so I can just use them the one time for the next turn. All right, so it is now your turn. All right, so what are you going to do now? I'll take this for one. I'll satisfy it with another turn. All right, so you've got five coin or five gold, right? Yeah. Okay. And I have three stone, which over beats that. So you have wood. three stone and two wood. You just oh, so it's completed now, right? Yeah. So what is that? A, I just got. It's another more. tile oven. So now you have another machine that gives you more tile. And for this or another And two party. more victory points. So you've got two, three, four, seven, eleven. And I've got two, four, six, nine. So you're actually beating me. Oh, and ten. So you're beating me on victory points. Now you've completed one, so you get two more actions, right? Hmm. What else can I complete in one turn? I don't know if you can, but can you can you take one building and then satisfy it? Maybe. That's if I can milk. Two wood, which none of my cards really have except this guy. And one knowledge. You got a lot of cards over there. So, uh, what do you think? Mm -hmm. I could satisfy this one. So I'll just take that for a second action. Alright. I don't know what should I do. So you got one more action left then. And let's keep these over here so they don't get mixed up with this. I'll sign this. Well, I need two wood. So I can just do this. Well, I could do this for free. Okay, so you're going to sign a building to, or, yeah, a machine, machine to that for free. That'd be great. All right, now you've got one action left, right? Yeah. I now, can you can either buy another action. I'll buy another one. All right. Now you can now use two more actions, so you're going to assign that. Now you've got to spend two coin to assign that apprentice. Um, and I just but you've completed it, though. So you get, let's put these machines back. We'll do I one get at a time. one victory point. How many six. coins? Twelve. Or six. Six. What's the second word count? So here's six, and you got one victory, victory point, point for that. I have twelve now. All right, so you're on a roll. I'm going to replace can, that. Yeah, now I can get the church. Mm-hmm. All right, so now on my turn, I'm going to go ahead and spend five coin to hire this master. It's three. He has three wood. This other guy has two knowledge and three tiles, so I can complete this. I got four victory points and 16 coin. 
So I'm going to take three gold and one silver, put this over here. I now have two, four, six, nine, thirteen, uh, fourteen. And we need seventeen to trigger the uh, end game conditions. I could trigger it. So I'm going to think about how am I going to end this game quickly? Hmm. These two could trigger So I've, I've already done one action. I have two more actions left. I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I'm going to go ahead and... How much do you have? One. This actually I could do. I'm going to go ahead and, and do this for another action. And then I'm going to assign this one. master for five, five coin. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay. Five. You have fourteen already? Yeah. So I now have... Um, um, I'm out of actions. I've got this partially completed with wood here. I need one knowledge and two tile, which this guy has. So... I'll do that for one. Maybe I'll get the church done. Alright, so you, you're going to put the church down. That's one action. I'll put the tile down. Alright, so that's... Okay, you're going to sign... No, you don't have to pay anything for that. No. You're going to sign this to that. Yeah. So you've completed some of the tile there. Now you have one action that left that you can do, but you can't assign anyone else unless you pay five. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, all right, so you're gonna pay five to assign another guy because he only had one action point left, and to assign a worker he needs two. So he's gonna buy an extra one to get two. Now he has uh, three stone against this four, so you're not done with it yet. Two wood, which isn't doing anything for you. You've got three tile down here, so you need one tile. Two knowledge and one stone at this point. All right, so you're out of actions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm I'm probably just going to end the game now. Um, I've got. Oh, I wanted to end the game. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh wait, don't I get one last turn? You have the first player card, so no. Um, you've I just paid five for this. I should have just ended the game. Um, two knowledge against this one, three tile to this two. This completes this card. I get twelve coin. This goes over here. Now let me just double check my victory uh, condition. 2, 4, 6, 9, 13, 16, 17. End game. If you have 17 or more victory points at the end of your turn, counting only buildings and machines and not coins, the game will end. Um, well, at the end of my turn, I still have two more action points left to use. So I'm going to go ahead and take, or I'm going to go ahead and spend the last two actions. I'm going to just convert them into coins. For two actions, you may take three coins. I'm hoping that this will give me some extra victory points at the game's end. I could have ended the game. You could have, but... No, because, look, I, I need one stone and two that and one of that. Well, on your, next so on your next turn, you could have. Or if I just buy it again, but two more action points. Well, you could have, I don't know. <laughs> and just end the game. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, quickly tally uh, the victory points and double-check to make sure we didn't miss anything, and uh, we'll come yeah, right back. Okay, so there is one stipulation in the back of the manual here. It says, once all players have finished their last turns, each player totals up their victory points for their completed buildings and machines. We already did that. Add one victory point for each ten coins worth of value still in your possession. All right, so I have two, uh, one there, two there, uh, I got ten. three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have two extra victory points. I so I have a total of one, four... 8, 11, 13, 15, 17, um, 19. And what do you have? You have... I only get one extra. You have one extra, so you have... Where's your completed? Right here. Okay, so you've got 1, 2, 6, 9, 10, 11, right? All right, so that was, that was a close game. It was very oh, yeah. close toward the... Oh, yeah, you have your machines over there, but you still... Uh, it's 2... That's 12. Uh, 12, Okay. Thirteen. I would have completed thirteen with that coin. I would have completed that game if I should. I should have just spent my coins and just did this. The end of the I don't game. know if that would have worked or not. Like yeah. I had, I had, um, I had what fourteen. Uh, so. Yeah, but I could have gotten five more at the end of the game. How much would that have given you? I got five, five victory, victory points. Right. Or eighteen. Coins. Well, wait, wait. You had eleven victory points though, right? How many victory points did you have before? I only had twelve. Did you, well, but without the coins, you had um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12, right? So plus 5 yeah. would have been 17. And then I pulled but, 18 points. But, however, on my, but you were first player, so I would get one more turn, right? Yeah. I would have completed that one. this building. That would have put me to 17. And then the money at the end of the game would have pushed me over. So no matter if you had that extra turn or not, I probably still would have won. You would have had more victory points than you did, but um, I still would have had that extra move to complete a building. So yeah, good game. Good game. Okay. All right, and there you have it. Another quick gameplay video for you. Hopefully you're enjoying this DGA Play series. Um, again, this game is called The Builder's Middle Ages. You can find it for cheap on Amazon. I have a link in my review on my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. So if you like short and casual semi-casual uh, games. This is a great filler. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. So if you guys want to see more games like this, let me know. If you haven't already, subscribed to my YouTube channel. And again, I have an official website out there, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.